if i'll create a byte type variable b and initialize it to 5 this is what happens internally in the memory device however if in case i create a byte type variable b and initialize it to minus 5 then what happens inside the memory device how is it that a negative number is stored inside the memory device let's understand The real challenge while storing minus 5 in the memory device is that while 5 can be stored in the binary form as 101, how do we really store the minus symbol is the challenge. Well, to overcome this challenge, most of the programming languages store a negative number in the 2's complement binary representation. Confused? Let me explain. 5 is stored within the computer's memory like this. I would like to obtain the ones complement of that. And you know, ones complement can be obtained by writing zeros as ones and ones as zeros like this. Well, if you ask me, is this minus five? No, ones complement doesn't give us minus five. It is two's complement that gives us minus five. So how do I get two's complement? Very simple, add one. To this one's complement and we get the two's complement that is what i am doing this is the two's complement representation in fact this is how minus five is stored in the memory so five within the memory is stored like this and minus five within the memory is stored like this well if you don't believe you can add the 5's representation and minus 5's representation and you would notice that you would get the result as 0. That proves that this is minus 5. So, what we understand through this discussion is that negative numbers internally are stored in the 2's complement binary representation format. And how do we obtain the 2's complement binary representation? Very simple. First, we need to obtain the 1's complement and then add a 1 to get the two's complement and that represents the negative number. Anyway, let me get back to my original program. This is the one. In this program, the issue that I had was with this statement. I'm supposed to perform subtraction without using the minus operator. So what do I do? Very simple. I'll rewrite this as A plus of minus B. And I hope all of you agree that this is the same as that. And with whatever knowledge you have just now gathered, I can replace this with this. A negative number can be obtained by first obtaining the ones complement. This is how I obtain the ones complement. And then adding a one to it. And that is how I obtain the twos complement. So a negative number can also be written like this. And that is what I store in C. So basically, in C, if I would store it this way, this would still perform subtraction. So I'm going to remove that statement which has the minus symbol and I'm going to bring in my new statement and when I'll execute, I'm getting the output. So this is the logic to perform subtraction without using the subtraction.